Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Amy Ingram with Advanced ENT and Allergy. Each week we take your questions and we answer them. On this episode, I will talk about allergy serum, cochlear implants, and pulsatile tinnitus. Can I still use my serum if it was left out of the fridge for a few days? This is somewhat of a difficult question to answer. Uh, shorter answer is no, um, if it's been out for several days. Uh, the problem is that heat causes uh, the, the actual allergens um, that are in the serum to kind of lose their effectiveness over time. And especially, so if you left it out 24 hours, it's in the air conditioner house, it should be okay. However, if you leave it in your car and it's hot, 80 degrees, 90 degrees, and you leave it overnight, it's, it's most likely not good anymore. Um, and the issue is with keep continuing to use it, one, it's not effective, but two, when you go to use your next round, round of serum, then you've been getting essentially no allergens and then you start getting a higher dose of the allergens again, which can cause an allergic reaction. So that's the reason to be careful. I am deaf in my right ear and have a broken bone in the same ear. Is there surgery for my problem like cochlear implants? Left ear has a 35% hearing loss. All right, so with this question, um, again, without actually looking at your physical, you know, looking at your ear and finding out exactly what's wrong, and then also your hearing test, it's difficult to say. But usually there is. Um, there's a couple different surgeries that can be done for hearing loss. Um, <clears throat> cochlear implants are one. Those are usually more for nerve-type hearing loss. Uh, and sometimes it depends, insurance doesn't always cover it if there is, uh, if you only have hearing loss in one ear and not necessarily both ears. Um, but they are actually coming around to starting to cover that more and more. It just, again, depends exactly what's going on. Uh, the other, when you say broken bone in the ear, that sometimes lends itself more to what we call a conductive hearing loss where the hearing is not necessarily, it's not getting from the outside world to the microphones in the ear. So there's the little bones aren't conducting that noise to the microphones. And if that's the case, there's another surgery, one to repair those bones, um, if that's possible, or there's even a kind of a bone anchored hearing aid that kind of goes in the back and just bypasses the whole system. Um, so those are some of the options that you may have available uh, depending on what exactly shows up. I can hear a heartbeat in my head that coincides with my heart rate. Is this the same as pulsatile tinnitus? What can I do for it? So yes, when you hear the sound in your head, it's usually like a whoosh, 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 that kind of sound that's in the same timing as your heartbeat. That is what we um, call pulsatile tinnitus. Uh, and there's quite a few causes for it. So the cause of it is kind of what depends on how you're gonna treat that. Um, one of the main things that we wanna know is, are you hearing it in both ears or just one ear? Um, Cause it's a little bit of a red flag if you just hear it in one ear and not the other. Um, and that can be a sign there's a, a little blood vessel tumor, not necessarily cancerous, it's just a little blood vessel that um, kind of overgrows inside your ear and that can be treated surgically and, and has to be removed. And so we do, we do want to de technically, definitely look into it um, and possibly do some imaging studies if you only hear it in one ear. Now, if you hear it in both ears, there's also a couple different causes for it. Um, one, there's a big, there's a large blood vessel that actually kind of runs through your middle ear, close to your ear, your hearing bones. And so if your blood pressure's up, or actually when you lay down at night and it's quiet, it is possible to hear your heartbeat. And, and that's somewhat normal in a sense. Now, if it's getting louder, um, if it's so so loud that it's bothersome to you, that's, that's not normal. Um, but it can be just that loud blood vessel. But you can also be some, um, the, the calcifications of the plaques that you hear about people getting in their arteries, that can sometimes also cause that sound in your, your head um, to hear to be able to hear that or even high blood pressure so some of the things that if you've got them on both sides you want to definitely be checking your blood pressure um, come in to see us and we can just make sure that you know you, we're not hearing any of those sounds actually in your neck because um, that's where some of those calcifications in the um, arteries can be uh, and then again if you only have it in one ear even more important to come in and get that checked out